down from his glory, ever living story. My God and Savior came, and Jesus was his name. Born in a manger, to his own a stranger. A man of sorrows, tears, and agony. Oh, how I love him. How I adore him. My breath, my sunshine. My all and all. This great Creator became my Savior, and now God's dwelleth, dwelleth in Him. Actually, it's fullness. I missed it. Welcome to Sunday Night Praise. I'm Pastor Cliff. Join me for the next half hour as I, in the church, pray for you as we try to give you a spring in your step and a song in your soul, Sunday Night Praise, from the Spooner Church of the Nazarene. Type in your comments, even if you are watching this on tape delay. I want to hear from you and what you think of the program. It means a lot to me. Stories, music, so stick around for Sunday Night Praise. Sing our theme song with me, won't you? I love this course. I hope it's your testimony. Oh, how I love him. How I adore Him, my breath, my sunshine, my one and all. This great Creator became my Savior, and now God's fullness, that's it, dwelleth in Him. We're going to sing another verse of that song. Without reluctance, flesh and blood, his substance, he took the form of man, revealed the hidden plan. Oh, glorious mystery, sacrifice on Calvary. And now I know thou art the great I am. Ah, oh, sing it with me. Oh, how I love him. How I adore him. My breath, my sunshine. My one and all. This great Creator became my Savior, and now God's fullness dwelleth in Him. Amen. Back in about late 80s, maybe early 90s, deer hunting was a big thing in my family. It still is. But I grew up in southern Dunn County, Wisconsin, right where kind of where the Chippewa River hits the Red Cedar River. The Red Cedar dumps into it. The Chippewa and Dunville Bottoms. And my relation growing up there, for many of the guys, that nine-day gun season <laughs> was just like Christmas Eve. They loved it. They hunted. I was never super passionate about hunting, but I enjoyed going. But you take a lot of young people, five, six, seven, eight guys or more, line them up in the woods, and they flush the woods out in what they call a drive, and you would bark. Woof, 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 woof. You'd bark, you know, chase the deer up. And then safely on the other end of the wood, you at least hope safely, there are the standers. As you chase the deer up, they can shoot them. Well, one year I had my gun and we had taken a break and I found a little place we called Buck City. Some called it Buck City. It's still a debate to this day. But we were down there and I was on the ground and I wanted to check out my gun to make sure the safety was on. And I don't know if I had a glove on or not, but my finger or the glove on my finger touched the safety and the gun went off in my ear. A bang! 
And my cousin Marvin, who I grew up with, is a little older than me. Didn't even want to look. He said, Cliff, when I heard that gun go off, I thought you blew your head off. He didn't even want to look. I could not hear out of this ear for about three or four days. It was horrible. I was checking to make sure the safety was on, and I bumped it, the trigger. Sometimes we're like that in life. Hey, everything's safe. The safety's on, and really, the trigger's ready to go off. Life can come so quick. I knew of a man who worked in a coal mine in a piece of machinery, cut off the top of his head, and he said to the guy next to him something to the nature of, and I'm not going to repeat because it was a swear word, but he said, man, that hurt, and he dropped over dead. Death can come in an instant. Even when we think the safety's on, do you know Jesus? Have you come to Jesus? Say, I believe what you did on the cross for me, Lord. Take root in me. Take your root in me, Lord. I'm sorry for my sins. <sighs> Death can come so quick. And the question is when it comes, you know, unless uh, Jesus comes back first, none of us are going to get out of this world alive. That is true. None of us are going to get out of this world alive. But if you know Jesus, it's worth it all. Just one life to live on earth, and it swiftly passes by. From the moment of our birth, till our time on earth to die. God has given us this choice to decide our destiny. Will he say, well done, where will you be? In the Bible we are told of a day that soon will come when the people of this earth will be gathered at God's throne and the books are open wide there for all the world to see. Will he say, well done, where will you be? Where will you be a million years from now? Will you be happy? Will you be singing while ages roll throughout eternity? I ask one question. Where will you be? Years ago, when I was pastoring in my early ministry, there was a fellow who wasn't affiliated with the church that I was pastoring, but he had a very violent criminal record. I believe he spent time in prison, did some other horrible crimes. For some reason, although he never came to church, I ended up at his house one day calling on him. And I remember being in his house, talking to him. And I began to get a little afraid. <laughs> concerned more, but maybe a little afraid. I'm not going to lie. I, I was very concerned that I can't trust this fella. He might try something, kill me or do something if I cross him. Now, I wasn't worried that I couldn't wrestle him to the ground, maybe, or that he was bigger than me, but he was a pretty good-sized guy. But he could have grabbed a gun or a knife. I remember being very fearful, not just for myself, but for my wife, who was my family at the time. You know, sometimes I hope that I said something that was a seed planted in this man's heart. The last I knew, he was in prison, if I'm correct. But that was many, many, many many years ago. But you know, I think about those times. If I could do it over again, I would take another man with me. Um, probably wouldn't go alone in a situation like that. I don't know what I exactly would do, but I think about those times and how the Lord protects us. I think when we get to heaven, and if he shows that big digital video screen in the sky probably used to be a Super 8 projector machine, what they said in the olden days, but that screen is, see how many times he protected us and he interceded for us. He sits at the Father's right hand, interceding, not just for you, but he's interceding for me. And I love this next song. So 
someone Someone to go the extra mile Just like a mother caring for her child A friend who sticks through thick and thin No matter what you've done or where you've been just like one great big family A stronger, older brother he will be So quick and ready to defend The younger, weaker to the end and he's ever interceding listen to these words to the father for his children yes he's ever interceding to the father for his own oh I love this next part through him you can reach the Father. So bring him all your heavy burdens. Yes, he's ever interceding. So come boldly to the throne. Just like a sheep we've gone astray Struggling neath the debt we could not pay Not ever hoping to renew The love and fellowship that we once knew but he began to intercede. Father, please forgive, I plead. And the nails pierced in his hand. God reached down once again to man. And he's ever interceding to the Father for his children. Yes, he's ever interceding to the Father for his own. Through him you can reach the Father. So bring him all your heavy burdens. Yes, he's ever interceding. So come boldly to the throne. Yes, he's ever interceding for you and me right now. So come boldly, come boldly to the throne. Well, let's go back to some deer hunting stories, or at least one. I remember many years ago, not quite as far back as the other story, I was hunting with a group of people. And there we were, five or six, eight of us lined up, 
to go through the woods. And as we were going through the woods, a deer was kicked up. I don't know if it was a buck or doe. My memory's not that good. But I do remember one of the fellows that I was hunting next to, probably maybe 50 feet that way from me. I don't know how far. I was getting ready to see the deer to shoot. And this fellow put his own life in danger, got up and ran through the brush in front of all the other drivers in the woods. He wanted that deer at no matter what cost. And I thought to myself, I don't want to hunt with somebody like this. One, they're a deer hog. They don't care about the other guy. Secondly, they don't care about their safety. And I don't want to end up shooting them. Needless to say, I never hunted with this individual again that I know of. But people take chances. You know, somebody once said, sin isn't hurtful because it's forbidden. Sin is forbidden because it's hurtful. God wants to protect you like a good heavenly parent. Now, I know there's not a parent watching this that would, that would say, hey, I don't want to let my kids play in the street. No. We want to protect our children. We're human. And we need a heavenly father to guide us each step of the way. The things that I love and hold dear to my heart are just borrowed. They're not mine at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my way. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Roll back the curtain of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Remember, I'm human, and humans forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Nothing good that I've done can deserve God's own Son. Why I'm not worthy of the stars in the sky. Yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead. Why he loved me, I can't understand. Roll back the curtain of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Remember, I'm human and humans forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. There once was a farmer who was asked by a friend, as he looked out in the fields and seen the farmer's boys working so hard. Why do you make those boys work so hard, the friend said in the parable. You don't need corn that bad. The farmer looked at his friend and says, I'm not raising corn, I'm raising boys. The moral of the story is he wanted to be a good influence on his boys. He wanted to teach them how to work hard. You know, the greatest gift we can give our children or children that are watching us, nieces and nephews or whoever it may be, is that Jesus Christ has a plan for their lives. Give them a knowledge of a life lived. Think about that. It ain't the money. It's not the inheritance. It's a life lived for Jesus Christ. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the roses falling. It's you, it's you must go and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. 
Or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. And I'll be here in sunshine or in shadows. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. And when you come and all the flowers are dying, if I am dead, as dead I well may be, and you will come and find the place I'm lying, and kneel and say, thank the Lord for the memories of you and me. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. And I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Oh, Danny boy, this life we live is fleeting. From death to life, someday this life will end. So walk with God and let Him guide your footsteps. And I'll be there to meet you on that shore. So walk with God each way along life's highway. And view the cross as the bridge to lead you home. And He'll be here, Father, Son, and Spirit. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, God loves you so. Amazing grace has always been my song of praise. For it was grace and grace that taught my heart to fear. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous this grace that caught my falling soul. Oh, Danny boy, remember, God loves you so. I changed the words of that song a little bit. The song is to represent that we can have an influence on the younger generation, not with money, not with wealth, not with fame or any inheritance, but with the knowledge of Jesus Christ. I'm not a professional singer. I butchered that a little bit, but I think you get the gist of it. What a great day if our kids, whether they're Danny or my daughter Autumn, I don't have a kid named Danny, or whatever your kid's name may be, they can say, hey, my dad and mom, my grandpa and grandma, my aunt and uncle, my older friend, they were an example for Jesus. There's a new world somewhere they call the promised land and I'll be there someday if Christ will hold my hand 
I still need him there beside me, no matter what I'll do. Jesus Christ, I'll never find another you. There is always someone for each of us, they say. And Jesus will be my someone forever and a day. I could search the whole world over until my life is through. And Jesus, I know I'll never find another you. It's a long, long journey, so stay by my side. When I walk through the storm, he'll be my guide, be my guide. If they gave me a fortune, my pleasure would be small. I could lose it all tomorrow and never mind at all. But if I should lose my God, I don't know what I'd do. For Jesus, I'll never find another you. I hope you found Jesus today. I hope you've asked him into your heart. You believe only unto him for salvation. And said, Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I repent. But if I should lose my God, I don't know what I'd do. For Jesus, I'll never find another you. Well, I want to thank you for joining me for Sunday Night Praise. Hit it, Harry, we're going to sing that song. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Oh, the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. What a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places. What a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful... Oh, let's sing it again. I love this. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. What a sight. Just to see all the happy faces Praising God in heavenly places What a thrill that I feel When I get together with God's wonderful people So long, I love you guys